Good morning, everyone. What time is it? It's almost 7 a.m., which is right on time. Koa just woke up. How do we know? He's whimpering all over. And that means we need to take him out potty. So today we're gonna show you our morning routine with a puppy. Okay, so Koa's crate is right next to our bed. He's gonna bring his nose where Wigan he wants out. <laughs> All right, so we gotta put his leash on. Mm -hmm. Spencer takes him out potty. Well, I go potty. Oh, gremlin. <laughs> and then we get ready for a walk. So, all right, go use the bathroom, bud. I'll see you after. Okay, look who just came back in from using the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Oh, buddy, buddy, you are so cute, but also, also a little gremlin, oh my gosh. Okay, so he just got in from using the bathroom. This is like clockwork for us. We have this routine down. Um, now we're gonna go on a walk, and guys, I do not get ready for these walks. Literally, I just roll out in my PJs. I put my hair in a ponytail. My face is still puffy from sleeping. Like, we just go on this walk as soon as we get up in the morning. So, all the neighbors get to see me freshly out of bed. So, Spencer is using the bathroom too, and then we're gonna go on our walk together. All right, on our little morning walk. Let's go. Okay, he's weird, because he loves to sniff all of the weeds. Not flowers, no, no, no. These bulky weeds, why? I, I doubt they smell good, but okay, you do you, boo. <laughs> Let's go, go. Okay, so these walks typically go for 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long of a route we take. So walks are a perfect opportunity to train at the same time. We try to do training throughout the day. Um, at first, we were just doing them in segments, but then we learned, like, make training a part of, like, your routine. Um, so while on these walks, we train him not to tug. We want him to heal and, like, be by us and not pull on the leash. We also train him to drop it or leave it, like trash or stuff we don't want him eating. Um, and then we also train him to come on command. So when he like comes, like, go, come, go, come, come. Good boy, yes. I always have treats in my pocket and then he gets a little treat. And then he'll learn to just do that without any reward and always just obey my commands. We also brought a water bottle for him. So when he gets thirsty, he can take a little sip. Like, let's see. Buddy, you want some water? Just like that. All right, let's continue our walk. Yeah. Another thing about Koa, he loves <laughs> sprinklers. Okay. Is he not gonna play with them today? <laughs> but come on, man. The one time we want you to, He's like, nah, these sprinklers aren't interesting enough. Oh my gosh. If we pass another sprinklers, we'll try again. Sorry, guys. It's breakfast time. I literally just got in the door from our walk. And it's time for little Koa to eat some breakfast, drink his water. So that's breakfast time for us too. Um, usually when we eat breakfast, we try to ignore him to prevent begging because the more attention we give him, the more he learns that he can get what he wants and that he can beg for food. And so we don't feed him any of our own food and we don't like play into him begging. Um, when we ignore him, he usually just stops and then he just goes off and like, does his own thing or lays down. Um, we also, another thing is we always keep his food and water out. We don't portion his food throughout the day and he's pretty good about only eating what he needs. Like he doesn't chow down and like, he doesn't gorge on it. And so um, we're lucky that we don't have to like portion him. So was that good breakfast? Little snack for you? First snap of the day. Koa is settling down from our Morning walk. 
Is it nap time, bud? Are you gonna nap while we get ready for the day? So Koa pretty much naps intermittently. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. I've been trying to think of it. Okay, well he naps like and spurts throughout the day, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So this is his morning nap. Um, and by this point of having him, we we pretty much got his routine down to T. So, um, Right after a nap, he's pretty worn out from just like walking and also just from sniffing everything around, um, and which really helps work his mind. And so not only is he getting a physical exercise, but he's also getting a mental exercise because he's just, you know, picking up on all the scents, meeting people, meeting dogs and, and moving his legs. So he takes a good little nap. I love you, buddy. While I get ready for the day, I'm still in my just rolled off bed look. So I'm having in yet. I'm in to eat real quick and then I gotta do my makeup and hair and outfit and then by the time we're done with that maybe maybe it's playtime right Co? is it nap time for you though get your little nap in you are so cute I love you just finished eating some crepes and now we're moving into the office to do makeup and uh, one thing about Koa is he loves hanging out with us right buddy he loves hanging out with us, so every time I move rooms, he always follows, <laughs> and then he finds a place to chill, right, Spencer? Yep. <laughs> Which, honestly, I'm not complaining about because, I mean, I love being around him, but also it's great for me to keep an eye on him to make sure he's not getting into something or having an accident in the house. This little habit is great. I love that. I love that he loves to be around me, and he usually just lays on my pink couch in the office while I do my makeup <laughs> and just chilling. <laughs> he's so sweet. He's so sweet. All right, makeup time. Wow, these blinds are blinding the sun right in my face. Makeup is done, hair is done, outfit change, except for the sweatpants because it's just comfy. I'm gonna stay in them. We're not going anywhere today, so I don't see no reason why I need to change out of my sweats. Um, Koa is still um, a little sleepy, so honestly, when you have a puppy, you gotta take advantage of these moments. Like, a puppy to me is not exactly like a baby, but the closest you can to a human baby, I feel like, is a puppy. It's the next stage to it. When puppy sleeps, it's productive moment. Um, so while he's sleeping, we are gonna be making some TikToks, some YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, whatever. And I came across this video talking about how do you visualize the months of the year in your head. And I've realized I visualize the months so weird. I have not met anyone who has visualized it the way that I do. So, so I'm gonna film that real quick and I'll insert the TikTok right here. Here's what a year looks like. Fuck, all right? All right, so we are. Okay, my husband thinks I am absolutely crazy for this. So I picture the months of the year in a very specific way, and I didn't realize that everyone pictures it differently in their heads, but let me show you how I visualize it, and it's always been this way. Okay, so for me, it goes at like an acute angle like this. <laughs> January, of course, being at the top, July at the middle and December at the bottom and then all the other months of the year are in between So we got February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November So in my brain this makes sense because January beginning of the year we're starting here Then as we progress through the year we get to July which I guess July is technically the seventh month of the year but up until July there were six months, so July officially makes it like we're halfway through the year. We've hit our peak. And then from July to December is the second half of the year, the last six months of the year. So for me, it starts off with January. Once we get to July, midway through the year, July to December, now we're at the end, and then it just repeats back to January. <laughs> I have never met anyone else who visualizes the months of the year like this, so let me know. Am I the only one out there? But that's not all. Days of the week are also similar, so let me show you how I picture those in my head as well. All right, days of the week. We've got Monday, and then it goes all the way to Friday, right? Every day of the week has its own box. And then once we hit Friday, we go down into Saturday, and then we go into Sunday. So this makes sense in my brain because Monday through Friday is the work week. Those are the days you're getting your crap done. 
Then after Friday, we get to chill. Saturday and Sunday are the weekends. So they're, they're on a different plane. <laughs> but what makes this interesting is that even though they all have their own boxes, Friday is special because two thirds of the way down on Friday, is colored. <laughs> Friday is special because it's not only part of the work week, but it also is part of the weekend. It's on the cusp of the weekend. So most of Friday you're working still, but once you hit the evening of Friday, it's now classified as the weekend. So Friday, Friday's not like the other girls, it's different. <laughs> Does this make sense to anyone else or am I literally just crazy? I was just getting ready to film and look where I saw the door. Oh, he left. Where'd he go? Literally, where did he go? Oh, hi, bud. Hi, buddy. I love you. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddy. I love you so much. Yeah, were you getting your duck? Hi, buddy. I love you. I'm going to film a TikTok, okay? Are you awake now? Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Thank you for biting my knee. That is so kind. This is the life of a mother. I had to use the bathroom for one second and I can bet your bottom dollar he is waiting for me right outside this bathroom door. Let me show you. <laughs> Hi, bud. Did you miss me? I wasn't even gone that long. So Koa decided he wanted to play with his toy on me so that's fun he loves this little squirrels and a stump we got him he basically just pulls them all out of the stump and he like reaches his little snout in there it's so cute and then he plays with the stump and the squirrels make like a little squeaky noise he is not usually a cuddler but he's been a lot more like cuddly lately and just yeah i guess he just wants to lay on me while playing with his toys so big progress here you ready after i just gave him some ice cubes after he has ice cubes he started poking his nose into here and i think oh, he was trying to chew yeah. on this yeah he stuff. loves the baskets and i said leave it and he did he stopped <gasps> yeah and i gave him a treat and i was like oh my gosh dude so, good. so what he's playing with right now is one of his teething toys. We stick in the freezer to get it all cold and that just helps his little gums to feel better because fun fact, he's already lost some teeth. He's lost some baby teeth and they're growing in their full canine adult teeth. Um, so that's why he's extra crunchy. That's why he loves chewing on like our baskets, our furniture, anything he can get his little teeth on. Um, but that is such big progress that he just dropped it without a tree or anything in your hand. Yeah. Wow, good job, buddy. Forgive my hair. I still haven't even gotten ready for the day. But right now we're gonna give him, I think these are called snuffle mats. You just like put treats in here and then you can lay it down on the ground and he'll like go through and find the treats and stuff. He's being kind of a gremlin right now. So usually these are really awesome to keep him occupied. We've started using the mats more than like the actual puzzle brain games because the brain games that we have, he's just completely figured out already. So like he finishes them in like five minutes or less. So this keeps him occupied a little bit more. Seems to like satisfy his craving of like needing to chew on something and sniff at things and like find things and dig on things. Usually this is pretty good. So I'm gonna fill it. I usually do like half a treat. The treats are like this big. But I'll do like half a treat per little snuffle thing and then I'll do like four or five half treats in the things that don't have slots and look who showed up. He heard the treat bin. So I'm gonna fill this up and then we're gonna give it to little Koa. Come here. Thank you. Sit. Oh, you've already sat. You're so good. You already know the drill. And there he goes. He just like, you know, sniffs through these areas where there's like, there's no pockets for it. You just kind of like stick them in there and let them find them. And then the pizza like slices, the pepperoni and mushrooms have like actual like pockets where you can like tuck the treat under as well as underneath this. So that side usually keeps him occupied for a while as he tries to figure out how to get them out from underneath there. He's smart. He's a smart boy. All right, it's about 11 a.m. and he is up and at it trying to bite my socks that I wanted to put on because the only dogs in this video is Koa. You ain't seen my dogs. We're gonna do some training. Okay, we'll show you the basic tricks he knows and then the ones he's working on currently. So, okay, Koa, sit. Good boy, you know, sit. Lay down. 
Yes, good boy, lay down. Oh, he's already getting in position for the next one. <laughs> he knows. Roll over. Come on, roll over. Roll over. Oh. <laughs> good boy, that's good enough. <laughs> this toy's kind of in the way. Good boy, cow. Okay, let's see. Do you remember stay? Okay, Koa. Sit. Stay. 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 Come here! Good boy, Koa. Good boy. So, what we've been working on recently is through a game, we play fetch, and the goal of this is not just to play fetch, which is fun in itself, but the goal is to teach him how to learn drop it, which we also work on on our walks, like you saw. So he gets a tree every time he drops the ball by me. Ready? Fetch! <laughs> He's like, where'd it go? <laughs> Come here, buddy, good job! Come here. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Good boy, Koa, yes, drop it. All right, you ready? Fetch! <laughs> we can play this for like 20 minutes. Like, he loves fetch. All right, bud, come here, bring it back, yes! <gasps> That's a good boy, Cal. Okay, drop it, drop it. Good boy. If he lets me take it too without like resisting, that's good enough. Okay, that was super good. We'll keep playing this, but I wanna, I wanna show off some of your other, <laughs> some of your other things we've been working on. So let me get it real quick. We have to keep his bed in the supper room because he started to chew on the corners and I don't want him tearing up his bed. So this only comes out for training or if he's being a good boy and doesn't chew on the bed. So we put it in the corner. So the goal of this is we're working on a command called place and break. Place means he goes to his bed like he is right now. And then break means he can leave his bed. So um, I would like to... I would like him to know this command. Oh my gosh, bro. Really? No. As soon as we bring it out. Go ahead, stop. No. But I like him to know place and break for when we have company over and instead of him like just running right to the door. Okay, Ko, you ready? Come here. Come here. We gotta get away from bed first. All right, ready? Place. So sometimes he doesn't go right away, so I'll just wait and see if he can figure it out on his own. Koa, place. Exactly, yes, good boy, place. And then, break. Good boy, yes. So we're gonna keep working on that. Those are the current training things we've been practicing over the past couple weeks. And he's back to training on his bed. Okay, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but we're in the middle of training, place and break, reviewing that. And he came over and he rung the bell. And so currently, um, he's pretty much potty trained at this point. Um, we haven't had an accident for like a week or two. Knock on wood. Please, no more accidents. Um, but we are training him to use the bathroom through the bell system. So every time we go outside to take him out, we always ring the bell. Or every time he rings the bell, we take him out and he knows that he can use the bathroom. So he's waiting so patiently. Yes, you are. So let's get your leash on and let's take you out to the bathroom, bud. And just like that, potty break is done. Part of our morning routine. Another part of our routine, and sometimes this happens in the morning, sometimes it's part of the evening, is to brush his teeth. So this is specifically made for puppies. Um, if you want like a full video of everything we bought for Koa, we posted a video about that, so you can just go and check it out. What I'm trying to train is, him letting me like touch his mouth and like like see his teeth while I'm doing it. Um, but all this is like little baby steps, work in progress so I can brush it pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in the puppy toothpaste to the mix. And now it's time to officially brush his teeth. Peanut butter flavored toothpaste, yum. <laughs> you just wanna lick it up, right bud? Yeah, this, this brush, thank you. There you go, yay. We're taking a little family outing. This is not a typical part of our morning routine with Koa. <laughs> so cute. Um, but we're gonna go to the store and get him some more doggy treats and doggy bones because we're running low. So we're taking a little family outing to the store. All right, we're here. We're at the doggy aisle. He's probably picking up on so many scents. Um, so let's start off the treats. There's so many to select, but the ones that we had before were these ones. They're not in the pizza. There's so many flavors. We got pizza, 
sloppy joe, taco, and then the classic bacon and beef. Then maybe we might pick out some more chew toys because he's been shredding some of his and getting the stuffing out. So we might have to swap some toys out for each other. Koa found something. Koa, where, what are you, crazy? <laughs> Boy, no. You. Girl. Oh my gosh. What no. We've officially reached afternoon. We got back from the store and that is our morning routine with our new puppy. He is wiped. He is so tired. He's going to take another nap. Um, <laughs> we, we have uh, good nap times and good play times throughout the whole day. But thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.